I am seized by the desire to end it when I hear the beautiful neighbor walking upstairs. She is usually confused by her inner suffering, but every now and then she has the enlightenment to visit me to offer me her sweet breakfast. I don't mind being surrounded by the friendly company of her body. A cup of coffee is little in comparison, so suddenly I ignore the strange desire I had to disappear. But Faith wants the team to remain standing as she begins to talk about the suicide of the great Olaf. 1979 was not a good year for British punk music. It would seem more right to put it all behind. Why talk about it? The post-punk era has shown that even the most ferocious mutiny does not change the fortunes of the captain. The war residue, however, has always been my goal, so I don't think it's right to leave it to four sharks. Even if the hell Olaf has fallen into was the consecration of what he left behind, I certainly won't be the one to demean his message by saving his life, and nobody likes to hear about that anyway. The Megalodon immediately understood that efficiency guarantees the continuity of profit, so it is not legitimate to rely on the instinct of an artist, even if this pulverized the spectacular ambition to do something bigger. We naively thought that to achieve independence it was necessary to generate chaos. But after being camouflaged among a bunch of polyvinyl chloride nostalgics, the Megalodon exploited our pride by making us commit suicide in a luxurious and empty life. End of the story. Olaf has just finished playing his last concert and every noteworthy story always ends up in a lousy hotel room. Inside every fucking social misfit is a potential bomb ready to go off. You want to end it, to become a flag to fly during the concert of a new rock star who has made your integrity her own, to fuck her every night under the sheets, leaving us the idea that in the end it is just wasted time. You drank the sweet cup of success too quickly to finally realize that it is as sour as vinegar. I take away the ambition of a legendary death to throw you into the well of normality. Your peaceful old age will teach the children of failed revolutionaries that to be serious about the revolution, it is necessary 